So what is a 4K screen? Well, essentially, it's the same as strapping four HD, full HD TVs together and then just getting rid of the bezels and creating a single screen. Its resolution is 2,000 pixels by 4,000 along the bottom and that's where we get the name 4K from. But we need something special to get the picture here. This is a 4K broadcast camera, and to be fair, they're not all this big, but they do have to handle the huge data rates required by the new format, ultra high def, including twice the frame rate that we're used to. And that is a heck of a lot of data to get back to our homes. This is the image coming directly from that 4K camera, and unfortunately, you won't be able to see it because we're shooting this on an HD camera. But if we zoom in to some of the detail here, you might get a flavour of just how much quality there is in a small part of the screen. Say, for example, the water here. Now, the screen next door shows you what you can do with compression. When you reduce that file size and then send it over the internet, this is what you can get. It's about 50 to 60 times smaller than the picture that you've just seen. Not a huge amount of difference. And then take a look at what they've come up with now. This is 200 times smaller. This picture is using 0.5% of the data, the amount of data coming directly out of the camera. And still, the detail is there. The Perseus algorithm works uh, by leveraging the principles underlying human vision. Essentially, we allocate more data when there is more detail in the picture and less data where there is less detail. At the same time, Perseus works at simultaneously on different parts of the pictures, leveraging the multiple core architectures that we already have in existing devices. That kind of data rate opens up the possibility of delivering 4K content to screens that are better than HD, like the one on this Chromebook Pixel notebook, or on tablets. But perhaps one of the first places we'll get to use it is on our mobile phones, when we're able to stream HD movies at less than half a megabit per second.